The inverse chi-square function isn't preloaded on TI-83 and TI-84 calculators, and it's useful to have when we need a critical value for hypothesis tests and confidence intervals for population variance. Here is a simple three-line program for inverse chi-square. We'll enter the program by going to Program, New, and Create New. As you can see, I've already created the name that we'll use, INV Chi. But just to show you how to do this, it's in the alpha mode already. On your keypad, you'll see, very hard to see with this color scheme, but you'll see that there are alpha letters above each key from left to right alphabetically, starting with A above the math key and ending with uh, Z above the two key. And then we also have quote marks, uh, colon, etc. above various keys. You can see that it's blinking with A. That means it's already in alpha mode. Well, let's call it INV chi. Name of your program. Press enter. We're going to enter three lines of code. The first line of code is input. We'll go to the IO button and choose input. Because we need to type quite a few characters in a row, we'll press second and alpha, which will put us into permanent alpha mode. And the quote is above the plus sign. And then we spell out area right. The space key is above the zero. We finish with a colon that's above the decimal place, the quote, and then we exit from alpha mode, press the comma, and we're going to name the variable which represents the numeric value entered for area right. Let's just call it A, alpha and A to enter that. The colon automatically appears at the start of each line. We'll do input again, press the program button, I-O, and enter. And we only have a few characters to enter, but we'll go ahead and put it into permanent alpha mode. D-F, I noticed that we forgot the quote that comes first. Second and insert will let me insert that quote mark. And colon, quote, exit out of that, comma, and I'm going to call it D for DF. Enter. And now we're on our last line of code. Program over to IO and down to DISP. We find solve by clicking math. The up arrow takes us to the bottom of the list and enter. One minus second vars and scroll down until we get to chi-square CDF. Enter. In an older model of TI-84 or the TI-83, you will just see chi-square CDF and the parentheses, and it will paste itself after the one minus back in your program. We have a wizard menu here. We're gonna enter the values in this order, zero for lower, X using this X, T, theta, N button. So click it once and it puts an X in the D, the alpha key and the D for the DF, and then click paste. Now, if you have the older model or you don't have the wizard enabled, you will just see chi-square CDF with the open parentheses and you'll type zero comma X comma D. To enter minus A comma, the X again, comma, and the zero. Close parenthesis, enter, and we're done with our program. We'll exit out of it with the second and the mode button to quit. Go back into program, and our inverse chi-square is here. We'll press enter to activate it. It's pasted to the home screen, enter again, and we get area right. And let's check our work. 0.05 for area, 13 for degrees of freedom, and we wait for the solution to come back. 22.362 is the chi-square critical value, which has 5% of area to the right of it at 13 degrees of freedom. If you enter again, you'll be able to find another chi-square value. 
I can exit out of this by pressing second and mode. If I needed to use the chi-square program again, I can reload it anytime by going to program and selecting it. It will paste the program INV chi and I press enter again to activate it. And that is how we can add a three line program to find the inverse chi-square value for us in a TI-83 or 84 calculator.